what's your reaction when you hear something like that being coached? Um, I really appreciate it, taking notice that you know I could get frustrated some days. I could you know be negative, but I'm not. You know, um, I just think it's a work in progress. That's all I gotta remind myself of, and just to keep pushing forward, even when I get down on myself. I just know I got you know the next day to get better. The next day. After. Was uh, the, the touchdown on the other, was that your fifth year that Coach been talking about? Uh, yes, sir. That's what he said. Uh, it's my fifth year. And uh, I felt really comfortable when I ran the ball there. Uh, and I just let it loose. You know, uh, I didn't. I don't think I thought on that place. So usually when I get out there, I be thinking, oh, if he goes here, yeah, I do that. I, you can't think. you got to play unconsciously. And um, that's what I did. How can that help you with kickoff returns? Obviously, that's a, where you can't think at all in kickoff. You just got to hit the hole. Yes, sir. Um, you know, me, I barely played special teams in high school. I was back there as a deep boy, so they wouldn't kick the ball as deep. Um, but now in college, they, they don't respect me as much. I'm a freshman. They want to see what I can do. And uh, I got to, when I go out there and I get my shot, I can't think. I just got to run. And I believe if I hit it, I will, I will break one. Um, a big ball, a big run on the kick return. So I just got to go out there and just play. Just a couple of weeks ago, uh, CJ Spiller was here. Did, did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah, I talked to him. What was that like? Um, he's, a, he's a cool guy, you know. Um, you no, know, even when I take some time to time, uh, he's always been humble. He only, you know, wishes the best for me. Uh, he just told me, you know, keep my head up, stay focused, and uh, he wishes the best for me. When you got in the other night, were you kind of surprised that you got to play? Were you expecting to play in that game? Oh, yes, sir. I was expecting to play. I knew. Um, um, first offense is go out and handle their business and give the rest of the guys off the bench a chance to play and show what they can do. So um, we was all ready to play. And uh, when I got my number called, I was ready. Wayne said uh, in the first half or something like that, you guys were over there. I don't know if it, maybe it was you, but Tyshawn and those guys were laughing and joking around. And he went up there and said, guys, you got to get focused. You're probably going to play today. You need to know what's going on. Did, do you remember that conversation? Oh, yeah. He, he came over there and said, he said yeah, we're going to we're going to pull him up, we're going to play it. You know, we started, we said, okay, because it was a little chilly out there, so we was <laughs> laughing and making jokes about the weather. But, um, you know, once he said that, we knew we knew what his intentions were, and, uh, you know, and we got in the game. Has the mental game started to catch up with you a little bit now from when you got here and started in August? Um, yes, sir, definitely. Uh, I think I'm mentally getting better day to day. You know, at first it was – you know, in the middle of camp, it's like, ah, it's long, yeah, it's, it's tough. But now I'm just thinking, if I go out and work hard every day, I'm going to get better every day. I'm going to perfect my craft every day. So every day is an opportunity to get better. Not necessarily negative, I'm just curious, what is that like in your head? In my head, um, in, in, in reality, every guy in that room, I think, can play. Um, every guy in that room deserves to play because they come out and work hard every day. So you got to earn it, your right to play. And that's what Coach Elliott told me, that's what Coach Sweeney told me. So that's what I'm trying to do. You know, those guys are not going to. You know, as a freshman, they don't want me to outwork them, so they work hard. And, you know, uh, that's why I think our room has been, you know, the best this year in the country. Um, I really just think, you know, coming in five-star, you know, now probably fifth string, uh, all I got to do is just keep my head up and keep working. You know, uh, my time's going to come, and when it does, I think I'm going to be ready. Were you humble in high school, or is this a gear you had to get into when you got here? No, sir, I've always been humble. <laughs> uh, I've always been a humble guy. You know, um, you know, growing up, I really just don't say too much. I'm really not a flashy guy. I'm just, you know, laid back and chill. Sure, coming in, you probably looked at some of the other backs and thought, yeah, I'm probably better than that guy, that guy, that guy. Has that been tough, sort of, seeing the, the competition maybe being a little stiffer than you? I oh, no, sir. I, when I came in, I, I didn't think I was better than them, any any of them. I knew I was going to have to work. And I said, you know, in recruiting, they're going to tell you, oh, man, this guy can't do that, this guy can't do it. But that's the way to get you in here, you know, because they wouldn't be at a Division one level playing at Clemson University. They couldn't get the task of their hands. So I knew it was a trigger in trades. Uh, but, you know, I came in ready to work. And I'm working just as hard as those guys in the room, though. What's the feeling working with Coach Elliott? What have you learned from him? 
to work hard, you know, and go full speed and, and give it everything you got every day you step on the field. You know, you may have problems, you know, in, in the classroom um, or off the field, personally, in your personal life, but um, just work hard and everything's going to come and play out. When you go to bed every night, are you pretty much satisfied with yourself personally that you've done every single thing in your power to, to give yourself the utmost opportunity? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I know if I come off a great day, I know I'm pushing myself and I'm, I'm giving these coaches a look of, you know, the future, you know, um, of the program. And, um, and I know they expect a lot from me. So when I when I go out and work every day, I believe if I work hard enough, I will get an opportunity like I did at Boston College. Have, have you adjusted to school life, being away from home, all this kind of thing? Yeah, I adjusted pretty fast. You know, I always been like the independent type. Um, you know, uh, my mom, she she handles a, a little bit of stuff for me, but I know I know I handle a lot of stuff on my own. So I've been doing pretty well in school. So. Had, had, had you been to Boston before, and how cool of an opportunity is that for you to get to travel up to places like that? Uh, I have I have not been to Boston. That was my first time, and um, it was pretty cool. I know. It, it was more chillier in the game than it was, you know, when we went out to the movie. But uh, it's pretty neat. No one neat little vibe. Is this also to you kind of like a do you feel how, did, how do fans season? treat you? I mean, you know, people love the, the the new guys, the freshmen, before they really see you. How have fans been receptive since you got to Clemson? Oh, they've been really receptive. You know, um, they, they treat me like I'm a starter. <laughs> that's that's been wild. Um, you know, even though you know, I mean, I play some games, but you know, still show love, and I was just really appreciative. You know, it, it can help your spirit. You know, even when you're down, you feel like oh, man, I should have played. And then the fans come up to you; they come joyful, and then you know what you're here for. You know, uh, you're here for opportunity. You know, if you you be patient and humble enough, you're gonna get your opportunity. Where you you have a uh, status as a uh, dog man or Deshaun uh, Watson. Uh, Mike Williams or R.S. Haven Scott. Do you consider yourself kind of the next guy in line to kind of become the next Clemson superstar, so to speak, like the three guys you just mentioned? Um, I mean, that's that's the talk, but I, I just consider myself taking a feast and I know what I'm capable of doing and, and what my mindset is and, um, and my, my goals. You have two rushing touchdowns now. Are, are you hoping to get more involved in the passing game um, as the season progresses? That's all, was obviously a big part of your game in high school. Uh, yes, sir. I, I'm gonna throw me the ball. Uh, <laughs> definitely, I'm not gonna sit here and say uh, I'm gonna wait. But I definitely, when I get in, I definitely want to get the ball and show them what I can do in the open, open space. I'm sure when you walk around Spartanburg, everybody knows who you are. When you walk around campus here, do, do the students everybody know who you are? I mean. I, I'm not really sure. I don't really say too much to people. Uh, I just put my hood on and go to class, you know, uh, focus on the room. Um, Do you like it like that? Uh, yes, sir. I like it. I like just to be chill and lay back. I don't really like too much attention on myself. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 Than